Hello there animators and artists and welcome back to another video. We always talk about the news in the world of 2D graphics and as you know the updates and new software don't stop coming out. Therefore it is our job to fill you up with all the news out there so you can always get to navigate your way on what to use depending on your own goals. So we're back with another software review. But this time you already know the software because we've already made a video about it. The software we'll be talking about is PD Howler, the powerful digital art tool with all its features. So today we'll be all about filling you up with all the updates and new features added and how it compares to the previous version. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Well, you might not have seen the original review video, so to get started, we're gonna go through what Howler is essentially about for those who haven't seen it. We do, however, suggest that you go back and watch that one first, as it goes through all the features in detail and basically everything you need to know about the software. With that being said, Project Dogwaffle Howler is an all-in-one creative suite that combines digital painting, animation, and video editing into a single platform. At its foundation, it offers a massive library of customizable brushes, giving digital artists the ability to fine-tune textures, styles, and effects until they achieve exactly the look they want. But Howler isn't limited to still artwork. It also supports traditional 2D animation, complete with an exposure sheet, timeline controls, and the ability to paint directly onto video frames for creative overlays and hand-drawn effects. On top of that, Howler ventures into 3D with tools for rendering terrains, designing skies and clouds and even transforming ordinary paintings into dynamic landscapes. The software also packs a wide variety of filters and special effects, most of which can be animated for unique results, alongside particle systems for generating dynamic visuals. Finally, with built-in motion tracking, stabilization, and even a slow motion creator, Howler extends its reach into video effects and editing. Altogether, it's a surprisingly versatile program that gives artists, animators, and editors a broad toolkit to experiment and bring their ideas to life. Alright, so, you might be wondering or telling yourself, this thing already has so many features, but how many more can they possibly add to it? Well, you're going to see for yourself in a minute, because we're going to go through all the new features together. Of course, it has to catch up to the crazy amount of AI tools coming out every single month. And with all graphics editing software having at least one built-in AI tool, Howler's team had to develop their own as well. The new 2026 version features an experimental AI image editor, Yep, that's right, this means everything you can think of is just one prompt away from being perfectly realized without breaking a sweat. All of this making it possible to colorize images, like giving a simple picture a full color, upscale images to get the best quality possible, or to impaint them by entering a text description of the edit required. This is especially helpful since some people might need to make changes on artworks they created after it's too late and it's simply inconvenient to try and change anything manually. It can ruin the whole piece and kind of get you back to the starting point. Doing that using AI will never make you feel like you messed up or that you're too late to experiment new ideas with your artwork. As we said, AI really did become a must for a lot of visual graphics enthusiasts. There's no denying that animators and video editors use a lot of audio in their workflow, whether it is samples they already prepared or ones they'd like to record on the spot. Having to do that separately might be bugging for some people since you have to export everything and then move it all to another editing software to adjust everything about your audio. It's much more preferred if you can do your entire work from start to finish in one software. Which is exactly why this new version of Howler is an absolute convenience. One of the most outstanding features of this new version is being able to both record and edit sound. With a 4-track editing tool and a clean audio record feature, you won't have to worry about separating the work on your audio and the art you're creating, as you'll be doing all of them in one place in a well-organized and customized workspace. One of the standout additions in this new version is the confetti tool for particle effects. And while at first it might not sound that interesting, especially to beginners, it actually opens up a lot of creative possibilities. 
Confetti effects in digital art and animation are typically used to add a sense of celebration, energy, or dynamic atmosphere to a scene. Think of how falling confetti instantly communicates a party, big win, or a dramatic reveal. In Howler, this new tool takes that familiar effect and gives you direct control over it, letting you customize not just the colors and shapes of the confetti, but also how it behaves in motion. You can make it fall naturally like paper drifting through the air, or push it into a more abstract territory, where the confetti acts more like a burst of particles, giving your animation or video a stylized energetic punch. What makes this even more interesting is that the confetti tool doesn't exist in isolation. It works within Howler's broader particle system, meaning you can combine it with other brushes, filters, or animated effects to layer it seamlessly into your project. For artists who already enjoy experimenting with particle effects in Howler, this addition feels like an extra brush in the toolbox. We were surprised to know about this feature being added, the Mod Music Tracker, which is basically a tool for making retro style game music. Apparently, Howler wants to help everyone out there. I mean, who would have known this wouldn't just be for digital artists, but also would be of great help for game artists too. The idea is that instead of recording instruments, you take small sound samples and arrange them in patterns that loop and build into a full track. This is especially great for creating that classic video game sound you'd hear in old arcade games. And just like we said earlier about the audio editing tool, this one too allows you to have a completed workflow in one workspace in case you wanted to add this kind of game music to your video or animation. You might be asking yourself, truly, how does this new version compare to the previous ones? You might even be concerned about its learning curve. Don't worry, the addition in features and tools in the program won't make it any harder to learn or get used to, although it could get a bit overwhelming if you try to discover everything all at once. Howler has been, and we believe will still be, beginner friendly. As we said in the previous video, it's a tool for both beginners and experienced VFX enthusiasts, so the only advice we'll give you is to take your time discovering the one area you're interested in most before you actually pass to the next one, and that way you'll be able to master a decent amount of tools in a relatively short amount of time. In other words, do one thing at a time and you'll feel the learning curve being more fun than ever. Alright, we get to one of the most important parts of our video, the cost of the software. Well, the new version of Howler is officially out now, it's called Howler 2026, and it builds on version 2024 with new plugins and additions. The developers are still in the process of replacing some lost source code due to a computer theft, but the platform continues to grow. You can purchase Howler 2026 directly from the official website for a one-time price of $33, which is extremely cheap considering what the software can do. It's amazing what one can do with one software like Howler. Beginner or not, exploring the new updates of programs that have various features like this one would always improve our skill and knowledge in the digital art field. Keeping up with these updates might be overwhelming if you have all your eyes on them. But don't worry, this is why we keep making videos like this, to make the knowledge more accessible to all the digital art enthusiasts. With that being said, we hope to see you again in our future videos. See ya!